All right, there's uh, one church, it's in Fairmont, been doing some construction to give an old building a new life. 12 News, Jordan Massey stopped by what will be known as the Center of Hope Community Outreach Center once the project's completed. He brings us this story. Almost two years ago, Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church was sold back its original building that opened its doors back in 1928. And Dr. Mark A. Staples decided he wanted to use this space as an opportunity to impact others in the community. The Center of Hope still isn't finished yet, but for the past year and a half, the ministry has been impacting local youth by taking them to academic enrichment after school programs and Kingdom Karate. But once the center is finally complete, they'll be able to have many more activities right in the building. We want to expose them to all of the arts and see that there, there are great things that look beyond where they are and don't just allow their community to be the place where they stop. So we're not going to stop whether the building is complete or not. We're going to continue to reach out, continue to give. But as you know, when you try to give, then it costs to give and it costs to do things like that. And the community center has quite a bit more work to be done until it's completed. So, Mount Zion is in need of some financial donations, carpenters, and all the support they can get from the community in order to do renovations on. The roof and some le the electrical work that we need done, um, and the wiring, plumbing work, um, and the big thing is the floor, and also we've done as high on the walls as we could, so we have the, the walls and the ceilings left to, to go. The church currently doesn't even have a van. So staff members use their own personal cars four days a week to transport the children to the different activities. And even though they're not able to fully enjoy the center yet, the children are already benefiting from the center's after school programs. I just love, love it because it's really nice. My favorite part of coming here would be learning my words and getting higher scores and just believing in myself so I can do it. Anyone looking to contribute to this effort can do so by stopping by the center located at 501 Cleveland Avenue in Fairmont on the second and fourth Saturday of each month, which is when the team comes together to work on the site. They are hoping to have this center completed by what would be the church's 122nd anniversary, which is taking place this year on July 9th. Reporting for 12 News in Fairmont, I'm Jordan Massey.